Welcome to Rhodes TV. I am Enatim Gogeli. Today we shall be taking a closer look at a South African journalist who has been able to question the norm and enforce positive change. Revealing, reporting and recording, these are some of the characteristics that are presented by South African television and radio journalist Nigiwe Bigicha. Born in the Eastern Cape, 33-year-old Bigicha is determined to play her role in South African politics by revealing the truth, reporting the facts, and recording those public interest stories through television. She has worked as an anchor on ETV's breakfast show, Morning Edition. She also worked for SABC3, hosting the current affairs television show, Interface, and presenting a business magazine program called Africa Incorporated. She has been an anchor for CNBC Africa, a 24-hour business channel on DSTV, and she is currently working for the DSTV e-news channel as a news anchor. What I admire about Bigicha is her attitude for positive change. Politics remain her main area of investigation, especially in a country that at times holds a democratic facade. Bigicha is not intimidated to interrogate higher forces of power in the political system to get to the truth. Do you dislike Tabombeki? Not as a person, you know. Uh, like like everybody in the South. But you're not friends, certainly. Uh, certainly, we don't uh, drink to, uh, uh, together anything. Uh, we we've 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 had lots of disagreements, you know. I, I I in particular, I didn't like how he managed the whole discussion on economy. He created precedences, and uh, which we we're still reaping today. But you were glad to see the back of him. Certainly, I must say so. I must be honest with you. In 2007, and uh, when he was shown the door in, the, in terms of the leadership of the NC, yes, I was glad. It is imperative in a country like South Africa that journalists who play their part in producing news should be recognized for their hard work. They are the sources of information for the public. In 2006, Nigiwe Bigicha received the MTN Women in Media Award. This award recognizes women who are representatives of the media within the academic, commercial and content sectors. In the next video clip, Bigicha congratulates Kosatu, the voice of affiliates in the political arena for operating for 25 years. Yet she interrogates their role over this past 25 years if they have taken a serious outlook on service delivery in South Africa and whether they have played a prominent role in making changes to adjust the business sector, especially for the working class. Many investors who look at South Africa are skeptical because they always say the labor in South Africa is highly politicized. They have so many entrenched rights and yet there's a skills problem. Um, you can't justify the payment and the wages that are being uh, demanded on the basis of what labor is able to produce in this economy. And this is what makes this economy unproductive. A middle ground, we're constantly looking for a middle ground from Kasato. We, we, look, we will engage with the discussion on productivity. We have said that we're willing to, 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 to negotiate a productivity deal with the employers, but as long as uh, the, the, the shares of, uh, of that, uh, of that are, then, I mean, uh, are shared amongst uh, all, all those that would have participated. Because one thing that normally discredits discredit any discussion on productivity is when workers feel that they are, you know, they're being outstretched mm -hmm. and yet they see no benefit except that they see the packages of the CEOs yeah. ever ar rising all the time. We, we, so in the discussion uh, about the new growth path, surely the issue of uh, productivity yes. of South African right. workers is going to be the center of it all, together with education and reskilling of them. South Africa is in need of critical, innovative and driven news journalists like Bigicha who are fueled to understanding why the world works the way it does, by challenging the norm and getting to the bottom of a story. As a TV journalist, she has been able to motivate the youth not to accept what is on offer, but to critique it. While Bigicha continues to make a mark in revealing, reporting, and recording these new stories, ask yourself how you plan to change your society, and even better, how you plan to change your country. We have now come to the end of our show. Thank you for watching our Rhodes TV special on Nigiwe Bigicha, a.k.a. Make one mistake and I will be forced to sort you out.